We've been focusing on um, this problematic issue in AML where the number of mutations is low. And so the, um, with a low number of mutations compared to other diseases like melanoma and uh, smokers, lung cancer, and things like this, the number of potential neoantigens that are specific to the tumors are very, going to be expected to be very, very low. And so you have to start targeting these what's called shared antigens. So shared antigens are hopefully uh, antigens that are differentially overexpressed but they're expressed in normal tissues as well, but overexpressed in the malignant cells. And so the targets that people have focused on include uh, a series of uh, genes, including CD123, which we've focused on, and CD33, um, uh, TIM3, CLL1. All of these are thought to be relatively overexpressed in leukemic cells. And uh, our choice for uh, study has been CD123 because, first of all, it's the low affinity uh, IL-3 receptor. It's expressed on 90% of AML samples, overexpressed. And it's also uh, expressed in this very primitive, quiescent leukemic stem cell population. So it's a good target for, um, for AML. The problem with it is the same problem with all of these targets and that they're also expressed in normal maturing myeloid cells. So they're expressed at some level on the normal hematopoietic stem cell and so that means that that normal cell is vulnerable to treatment and also there's a large sink of this uh, target and all of these targets in fact on maturing myeloid cells. So to get to the leukemic cell, you got to get through all the normal cells, and these are monocytes and granulocytes, and then get to the leukemic cell without uh, potentially eliminating the hematopoietic stem cells, because you know these um, these uh, targets are um, you know the the problem is that they're expressed on the normal stem cell, and so any effective therapy is going to, by definition. Uh, deplete the, uh, the normal stem cell load and so you, the blood counts will go down and hopefully not forever. That's the advantage of bispecific therapies and that you can stop them and the marrow can recover or any toxicity that develops you can stop the infusion and the, um, the uh, symptoms resolve.